Hey guys, I'm Sly, a national mixologist, and today we're gonna be shaking up a fun beer cocktail using Exotico Reposado Tequila and a stout beer. Now, for all you guys out there that may not know what a beer cocktail is, well, it's one of the top five trends with cocktail menus across the US, and today we're gonna be combining a little bit of spirit, a little bit of beer, to come up with a fantastic cocktail for the fall, and for you stout lovers, actually a great cocktail year round. So let's go ahead and shake up the cocktail. We're gonna be using about an ounce, ounce and a quarter of the Exotico Reposado Tequila, which is gonna be 100% estate grown Blue Weber Agave. It's gonna be aged for a minimum of six months, as much as to nine months, which is gonna give it great caramel flavor, vanilla flavor, and of course, when you see the bottle, you see a little bit of brown in there, it's gonna get its coloring from the barrel that it's actually aged in. So, ounce, ounce and a quarter, measure into your tin. We always measure because we wanna ensure a consistent cocktail every single time. Next ingredient, about a half ounce, 0.75 full of Irish cream. Go ahead and measure, pour right into our tin shaker. Let's just go ahead and do a dash of cinnamon, which is gonna go great with that aged flavor of the Reposado tequila and of course the stout. We're gonna go ahead and put our ice into our tin shaker, about 0.75, because when we shake, we want about an ounce of water dilution in that cocktail. So go ahead and give it your best shake. And we're ready to top off with our beer. Now you might be asking, why did I not put the beer in before I shook? It's because it's effervescent. So we never ever shake um, anything that has effervescence in any style of cocktail. So let's go ahead and measure it after. We're gonna do about three to four ounces of the Guinness. So go ahead and measure into your shot glass, just like that. And we're gonna roll the drink. So when we roll the drink, we wanna ensure that all the ingredients get mixed in together. There you go. And we're ready to strain into our rocks glass over ice and you can add a cinnamon stick as a garnish, you can add some extra nutmeg or clove or whatever you want to make your nog fit your flavor profile. Look how fresh that is. And that, my friends, is your stout nog, perfect for the holidays and for you stout drinkers, perfect year round.